Hiya, Phil. Really good session of the day. Hope you found it helpful. Hope you now have a bit of practice on that left wrist position we talked about. See those shots flowing a lot straighter, getting the zip back in those strikes on those irons. So as we discussed, that left wrist was the key issue. If we watch takeaways, good now, taking the club back nicely in the correct position. The thing is now your left wrist, there's too much sort of hinge, and we're creating this sort of cupping or sort of curving in the left wrist here. And as we can see, the club face as a result of that now is in an open position. So when you come back to the golf ball, the club face is simply pointing out to the right to compensate for the ball going right. You simply swing the club then to the left, which obviously reduces the, the quality of that strike. You're coming down a bit steep and across it. And in the winter time, as we know, when the ground's a bit soft, if you're coming down a little bit steep and across, you can tend to you know, hit the ground behind the ball, hit it a little bit heavy. And that's obviously going to reduce a lot of the power with the shot. So what we're looking for is keeping that left wrist the club face and that left arm in the same position. If we look at the difference now in this club, we can see left arm, club face now nice and parallel in a similar sort of line there. Compare that to the one on the left hand side. We can see if we zoom in and see these club faces, you can see the different angle of those club faces there straight away. On the right now, much squarer. As a result of that, after the first few shots did start going a little bit to the left, just because the club face was now square, we could adjust that path back to the golf ball. And we can see in this case now a lovely strike as we come through. Very good movement. And then right the way through up onto that left side. So keep focus on that left wrist. If we hinge the wrist too much and get a bit cupped, it's going to get the club face open. And then we're going to be forced to adjust the path coming down. Yes, the ball might go straighter, but it's going to be a weaker sort of higher floaty shot so to get the zip back in that golf ball keep that left wrist flat and i'm sure that ball will be flying a lot straighter and a lot further so hope that all makes sense phil any questions obviously give me a shout and i'll catch up with you soon